A lot of damage has been done today, people. Hello! Um, I kind of did a lot of damage in Boots and online. Yeah, so you know what this is going to be. It's going to be a huge collective haul video. Um, I'm kind of nervous to show you guys what I got purely because when I see it all together, it's scary. Like, <laughs> the amount of things that I've got is not normal. So as you can probably tell, I've got a brand new setup behind me and I think I kind of prefer it actually. It's a lot easier to deal with, I can just set up my camera, sit down on my chair and go. As opposed to my last setup where it was kind of like a dressing table that I had to make look remotely interesting in the background and then my boyfriend wondered why there was loads of makeup on our dressing table. So this is now my little space, I've kind of taken over half of the bedroom. I like to think of this as my office corner because we only live in a tiny house, all I really get is a corner. I'm going to save all of the rambling because, you know, this video is going to take so long anyway. No. Pepe has come to say hello. What do you think? Yeah, I've kind of gotten two new cats, people, so you'll be seeing them in a favourites video very soon, or maybe just like a whole video dedicated to them. Oof. I now have a cat in my video, so if you hear crashing, that's what it is, so... Sorry, <laughs> can't really do much about it. So in no particular order, I'm just going to go straight in and show you what I got. I don't really know why I got this. It's the Revlon, I'm not even sure what lip gloss it is, Colour Burst Lip Gloss in the shade Bellini. Um, I literally don't know why I picked this up. I have no idea. I think maybe I picked this up as an accident. Uh, but maybe, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway, so maybe this will feature in it. I literally don't know what it looks like, I didn't even swatch it, I think I picked it up because it was on 3 for 2 or something, but I'm not really sure, so if you have this, I mean should I open it, should I crack it open and give it a go? I'm not really much of a lip gloss person, nor am I much of a pink person, so I literally have no idea why I picked this up. Next is this Clarins lip balm, and I just picked this up because I was obviously in the mood to spend a lot of money, and this is just what I came home with. It smells really good, and it's, you know, it's really nourishing. I like it. Next I've got this Sanctuary 5 Minute Thermal Detox Mask. I picked up a sample size because I heard Amelia Liana talk about it and I am definitely picking up the larger size because this stuff is amazing. My skin felt so good after using it um, and you really can see just all the gunk coming out of your pores when you're using it and for spot squeezers and blackhead pickers like me you will like this because it's kind of really satisfying to see all the gunk come out of your face. Um, okay, what's next? The Loxtan hand cream in... I don't really know what this smells like, it's sheer butter I think. And this stuff smells so good. I put it on last night and I think it kind of smells like babies, you know? Nice smelling babies, not the shitty babies. But massive, massive size. I'm trying to look after my hands a bit more at the moment and love it. I also got this Diptyque fragrance and it's actually my first Diptyque fragrance. And it's the Eau de Lavande... Lavender something. I'm no good at French or whatever language this is, but it's the lavender fragrance. I thought it was going to be quite light and almost granny-ish, and I like that, but it's actually really surprising, and it's kind of masculine at the same time, so I really like it though, and I like that it's unrollable. I kind of pop it in my handbag whenever I'm going out. It's perfect evening fragrance as well, so if I am going out in the evening and I've got like a clutch bag, this just fits perfectly. Repurchase this baby and it's the BB cream for under eyes by Garnier. I will forever repurchase this and I think I've already got like three in stock in one of my drawers or something but I love this and will forever repurchase this. Absolutely love it. Can't say enough about it. Picked up the Gelique Foaming Cleanser and I haven't tried this yet but Kate from Ghost Party said it's amazing so I thought I would just give it a go. I'm always in the market for a new cleanser. If you've seen my skincare routine you will know that I can never have enough skincare and yeah, this is just going to go straight in with the collection and I'll probably be doing a review of it or something on my blog soon. I also picked up the Jolique Rose Water Mist and oh god, this stuff smells incredible. Literally as rose as you can get and I don't really know what it does. I haven't really noticed any changes in my skin from using it but it feels nice to put it on and it leaves you with kind of like a dewy finish but it's the smell that I'm after and this stuff's amazing. I also love the packaging, it's like a nice frosted glass. I don't know why this pleases me so much. Next is what I've got on my nails today and it's the Rita Aura for Rimmel 403 Aurogasm. I see what they did there. 
Uh, I thought this was a shade that I didn't really have and then I realised I had a shade almost identical to this. But I like the brush that goes with Roman nail polishes and I got it when it was like buy one get one and a half price so this was next to nothing really. So I picked up the Rimmel Low For Love For You Lasting Finish Polish. Um, I've never really seen a colour like this, it's kind of like a powder blue, coral blue, I swear there's like a word for it but it's like that blue on Dead Wars Prada, Ceruleum, and then that woman goes on for ages about blue but I mean it's just blue to me. Another thing I realised that I already had is the Dream Touch blush in the shade 06, I don't think it has a name but I already have this and I think I picked it up instead of picking up the Maybelline, not Maybelline, the Max Factor tiny little ones that everyone rants about. I picked this up instead by accident and I'm probably going to give this to a family member or a friend or something because I already have it and it's okay, it's not groundbreaking and I never really gravitate towards it but it's, it's fine. I don't know why I picked this up. Another repurchase is my old faithful scandalised retro glam. This is already dirty, I don't know what it is with me and mascaras but I managed to make them just look disgusting in two seconds flat. Um, I get a lot of questions about which mascara I use on a daily basis and it's this one. Really, really cheap, uh, makes your lashes really long, not too thick so it doesn't look like you're about, about to go out on a night out. But I love it and I think it's probably my favourite mascara, not of all time but definitely getting there. I also picked up the Clinique Chubby Stick for Eyes in the shade Full of Fudge. Complete Viviana Does Makeup enabled purchase. She always looks amazing with this and I swear I don't really look that great with mascara, not mascara, eyeshadow on, but like she just makes me want to buy everything. That girl is such a babe and I'm going to give it a go. Maybe I'll try it for my next video or something. And another fragrance is the L'Occitane Eau de Toilette Frisson de Verbena. I think it's just like a Verbena fragrance. Helps me take the lid off. Really, really like fresh and citrusy and just standard Verbena scent. Um, really like the bottle as well, looks really cool on my desk and as you can see I've hardly touched this so I can't really give a full review on it but I like it so far. I also picked up the Clarins Sunkit Oil Spray. I love anything remotely oily and obviously sun protection. It's important people, make sure you protect your skin. Uh, so I just picked this up. It doesn't really smell of much. Well, I don't know actually. It kind of smells, it doesn't smell that great. It kind of smells a bit alcoholic y. I don't think it has got alcohol in it. I mean, Clarence never normally have alcohol. But it makes your legs look really long and kind of goddess y. I like to think so anyway. And yeah, I really like this. And obviously, it's an SPF 30. What more could you wish for? I was impressed at how cheap I got this for. My boyfriend works at Boots, had a number 7 voucher anyway. This was going to be £10, came out at like £2.40, so I'm pretty happy. It's the Naturally Sunkissed Gradual Body Tan. Uh, I feel like I'm looking a little bit pasty at the moment and I don't want to go out and burn myself to death. So I'm going to try and wean myself back into the whole gradual tanning. I've seen a lot of hype around these products. It's the Me 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 Cheek and Lip Tint. so. Complete dupe for the benefit, like lolly tin and whatever tin, but it kind of, it just looks like a nail polish to me. I have to smell literally everything, I swear. But I haven't tried this again, looks like quite a nice shade for summer, just pop it on the apples of my cheeks. Uh, not sure I'll really be using this as a lip tint, but I'm all about the whole cheek stain thing. Anything that means I don't have to apply makeup every five minutes is a good one in my books. Oh my god, this stuff smells amazing. It's the Sea Buckthorn Replenishing Body Lotion. I don't even know what Sea Buckthorn is, but it's the one from Walida. I never know how to say that word. I've had a sample size of this before and I loved it, and I've also had the hand cream, which is amazing. But I love it for the smell, as always. I'm a complete floozy when it comes to things that smell good. Uh, and this wasn't that expensive. I swear it was like £10 or something and it's quite a good size and it's got a pump so liking that one. Picked up another can of Batiste. I just like the original one. Absolute favourite dry shampoo out there. Cheapest one out there probably as well so thumbs up for that. Next is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. I feel like that's a bit of a tongue twister and I like to use this purely as a wake me up thing in the morning. It's not too abrasive, it's got some slight particles in there to scrub your skin, 
but it just wakes me up like nothing else and I don't even really use it to take off any makeup as you probably saw in my morning routine. I don't tend to use much of a cleanser in the morning but this is kind of slowly creeping its way into my routine. And next is the Clinique Anti Blemish Solutions Clearing Gel which is just perfect for those hormonal spots. I like to just pop it on before I do my makeup and then by the time I get around to doing my base it's dried and it's not flaky or anything like that. Whenever I apply this overnight I wake up the next morning and my spot is looking a lot less angry and a lot less red so it's perfect for those emergency moments. Now you might be wondering where the rest of the video gone and why I'm suddenly in a dressing gown. Um, no idea where the rest of the footage went. Luckily I got to the end of the haul and you just missed out on me saying goodbye and doing my awkward waves. So just so you don't think I'm really rude by cutting the video short and not saying goodbye, goodbye. Links are down below. Um, cats are climbing the walls. Standard day in the Steph household. Now I'm running down the stairs. And silence. Links are down below to everything, social media. Um, product links where I can find them and I will see you in my next video. I think it's going to be a July favourites um, But who knows maybe that video will go missing as well, so We'll just have to wait and see. Talk to you all again soon, and I hope you enjoyed these two kind of videos Bye